Hi there. I'm Matt with K15T, and we're going to look at editing a page in the Confluence Editor. We'll look at the page history, which shows all the versions of the page that have been edited over time and any notes that were added to those. We'll look at how you can view the changes for each version of the page, and we'll even look at how you can toss out the changes if you don't want them. So you've published a page, and probably your teammates have published a newer version of that page. That's great. So how do we get a look at all these new versions? Well, we come over here to the More Actions menu and select Page History. So in the page history, we can see all the past versions of this page, as well as the current one. And we can also see who made changes to what. But you could hit any one of these versions to get a better look at what did that version look like back then. But maybe you're thinking you want to compare the current version and, I don't know, um, a past version to see what has changed over time. So you can select two of those and click Compare Selected Versions. This will bring up the version comparison area where we can roll through and see those things that have changed, those things that have been removed, and those things that have been added. You can compare any two versions, and this is really nice for picking out those tiny changes to make sure that the content that you're publishing to everybody in Confluence is the content they should actually see. Once you know what is in a version, you might want to very quickly delete it. Maybe you're like, no, nah, we don't need that anymore. We actually want to revert to the previous version. So you can come to any version and delete it. You can also really quickly restore to an older version maybe you realized, oh, this actually should be the current version. The nice thing here is that it doesn't delete all the versions that are newer than that version. Instead, it just moves that to the top and makes that the current version. Now I'm gonna jump into editing this page where I have made some changes to the draft and a teammate has made some changes. And I just wanna look at collectively all those changes in one place. You can go into the More Actions menu and see that we have an option to view those changes. So here you get a small report of what's been added, what's been removed, and what has been changed formatting-wise. Also, when we publish the page, we can add a small note in the page history saying here is the second version of the page and here is the thing that we changed. So we can go to the More Action menu and select Publish with Version Comment to add that comment right there in the page history. There are also situations where we go in and edit pages, but we're just fixing small things like typos or formatting. So you can go to the more actions menu and select publish without notifying watchers. And that essentially just publishes the page without sending notifications to those people watching the page because it's really not important enough for their attention. And then finally, maybe you've decided you don't actually want this revised draft anymore. You're looking at this version of the page and you're saying, I just wanna start over or these changes actually aren't necessary. Again, you don't wanna leave this draft just floating out here. So you can go to the more actions menu and select revert to last published version. Here you can see who made changes on the page and you also have the opportunity to review those changes before you revert back to the last published version of that page. So that's editing a page in Confluence. We explored the whole page history and how you can revert to any edit at any time, which really means that your team can go wild and have the freedom to create whatever they want because at any point you might be able to say, uh, let's pull that back a little bit. It's also nice that you can make small changes without notifying all the people watching the page and you can add notes to your edits so people can see over time, why did you make the change that you made? Oh, and speaking of history, we have a long history of posting great videos to this channel. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And of course, this is only editing pages in Confluence. There is so much more you can do. So jump into another video in this course as we continue to explore how to use the Confluence editor to share what you do best.